Hi, I'm Nikita Kara and I'm a final year PhD student at the University of Southampton in the Biomedical Electronics Group. And today I'm going to give a brief introduction on organ on a chip technology, what it is and why it's important. Traditionally, when we want to produce a new pharmaceutical drug, it can take up to 10 to 15 years and can cost over $1.5 billion. So why is this the case? Currently, before we can test these compounds on humans, they are tested on either static cell culture models or animal models, which is problematic as they do not replicate the human biology. This is because with cell culture models, they consist of cells taken either from patients or grown in labs, and they're grown in a static environment, which doesn't really capture the complexity of the human body as they don't have different cell-cell interactions, interactions with different organs, and they don't display all the different pathways that we see. So we have a very limited view of what actually goes on in the human body. Whereas animal models are a completely different species. This means that they have different cell types, different sizes of organs, and even different proteins. So when we test compounds using these static cell culture models or animal models, the results do not translate across to humans. This is evident in the high failure rate for some types of compounds, such as those for respiratory diseases, which have a failure rate of 97%. So how can we solve this? A new type of model is being developed globally, which will help to identify the drugs that are not working earlier on in the process before we reach clinical trials. These models are known as organ on a chip models. They combine the specificity of cell culture models and the complexity of animal models together to create something that is closer to the human environment. For instance, when mimicking the lungs in the lung on chip, this may involve growing cells either side of a membrane, where some cells interact with air and the others with liquid, as we find in the body. These models may also include stretching to mimic areas such as the alveoli, whereas a gut on chip contains flexible fluidic channels lined with cells that can mimic human peristaltic movement. Other models may include a skin on chip, a kidney on chip, and even a brain on chip. This is because we are looking at magnified specific interactions between cells and compounds to try and better understand what is happening inside the human body and to try and identify new drug targets. This allows us to investigate how compounds may interact with different organs to fully understand their impact. Therefore, organ on a chip models can help us to better understand diseases as they replicate an environment that's closer to the human body. They can also help us to introduce personalised medication, as we can take cells directly from patients, grow them in the devices, to figure out which treatments will work best for this particular patient. In addition to this, organ on a chip devices can help to replace animal testing. Thanks for listening.